y'all name Chi, and we back at it again with another video. Today's video, what we doing, booty? We are going to be making uh, B Love's homemade seasoning. We about to have a feast with this seafood boil, so we got a surprise coming. She just dropped a video. Hope y'all liked that one. It was very funny. Don't she watch weird. That. But we're going to be recording going to the store to get the stuff that we don't have. We're going to be recording cooking it as much as we can. She don't got a lot of storage. And we're going to record eating it and uh, give y'all some reviews, feedback. So I hope y'all like it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel and turn your notifications on because it will be more of me and D. Okay? Cool. So we at Walmart. We got everything. We got a lot of things. Mushrooms. Scallops. Um, the sauce. Potatoes. We gotta make another trip because Walmart don't never got all the ingredients. Okay. And um, it's real ghetto. Right here. <laughs> Let's get out of here real fast, quick. Okay? Uh, <laughs> Everybody's looking at us. Woo! Okay, guys, we're back from a stressful, stressful store run. Water on its way to boiling. We got the sausages about to get cut up with the onions. Lemons already pre-cut. Crabs sitting out. We're going to wash those after we're done with the shrimps. We got our shrimp in the sink. Now, don't lay off the comments. We washed our sink thoroughly to keep these in here. Uh, and as you can see, we are running out of room. So, yes, taking the shells off right here. We got our potatoes here. Got our corn. We just use the frozen corn. Sometimes when we make seafood boils, we get fresh corn, string it, and cut them up, but not today. The old bay in the bag. That's gonna go in the pot once it gets done boiling. Our scallops are thawed out, and we're also putting mussels in ours. Now that's it for the crab boil. I mean, the seafood boil. And here's all of our seasonings right here. It's getting real techie over here so okay so we put the lemons in the boiling water i have to cut up the onions to put in there as well so booty can you get the crab boil for me so i can put that in there this is the same one that uh be love used and this is nothing we're doing here is original we looked at a be love video earlier and we're just going to mock it and have some fun and make our own little we really, really thought about doing this some other day. We wanted to try the actual B Love sauce, but we are trying the actual B Love sauce. Making the B Love sauce from scratch. We're not buying the packet. So we switch back to time. We really just let that sit. Uh, get those flavors flowing in there. Also, too, we're going to put Old Bay seasoning in there, right along with the Old Bay seasoning packet. This is Old Bay. Oh, the packet is Zatarin? Oh, no, excuse me. The packet is Zatarin. Does it come in a little box? Like this. You guys can get it at Giant Eagle. Walmart really didn't have this. That's why we had to go to two stores. Okay. So we are going to cook the corn and potatoes first. You know, corn and potatoes can take quite a bit longer. Seafood really don't take that long to cook. Okay. So after he's 
the with the um taking the shells off the shrimp, we're gonna clean our crab legs really, really, really good. Oh, this smells so good. good. Mm. But we're gonna cook the shrimp, scallops, and the sausages on the stove because we don't want those overcooked. I'm very picky about when it comes to the sausage. I like mine's like very like smoked or burnt, if you might as well say that. So look for those to be pretty crisp. Mm, I'm sure they will be. They will be. Everybody been looking forward to this video. We're gonna have a seafood mukbang. <coughs> also, so we got two packs of andouille sausage. Two packs of andouille sausage. Done skinning the shrimp. Skinning the shrimp. <laughs> ah, skinning the, sh skin the shrimp. Deshelling the shrimp. Whatever you call it, I'm done with it. All right. We got jumbo scallops too. We didn't get regular size scallops. And the shrimp is low, still frozen, so. Now, while these shrimp set, I'm going to uh, start focusing on cleaning the potatoes. We just got one bag. Sometimes potatoes can be too overwhelming, so. What are those baby legs? Show the camera. Ouch. Baby red potatoes, not the big ones. So this is pretty, you know, you guys get what we're trying to do right here. We're just prepping. So we'll be back when we start our new steps, okay? okay. So right. the shrimp is um, done. We're about to cook the scallops. Put the scallops in now. Mussels. Mussels. And he's cooking the mussels. So... Show them what it's looking like over here. Okay. Got the shrimp, y'all. The corn and potatoes in there. This is how he likes his sausage. Put the muscles in. So, we about to, um, and we clean the crab. Crab legs. We got to get the sausages right now. I mean the scallops. I keep saying sausages. Stay tuned. All right, guys. Our sauce came to a boil. We finally made the sauce. It came to a boil, so that's done. And our seafood boil is also done. Stay tuned for the feast. All right, guys, we done finally finished the boil. Do thumbnails. Okay. 
And the sauce, be loves sauce. Mm. Mm. And we're going to try it and give you guys our review and feedback. Also, too, you guys can make this to your liking. If you don't like it spicy, do not put as much spice in it as, you, as she tells you, obviously. Come on, booty. And I'm talking about our paper plates, man. This is for our shells and all that. And we tried it before the camera came on, so don't think this is our first time. It's good. You like it? With the scallops? Like, whatever that. Sausage. I know what I need for me. What? What you need? A fork. Mm. You can cut that off. off. And no, this is not how I eat out when we go to boys or and shit like that. No. I'm at home. Where your tater go? But for real, all jokes aside, she used predominantly all peppers. So if you're not a hot person, some of those spices could could fall out. Me personally, this is a little too hot for me. It's still good. You can add honey. You can add honey. 
we double up on the brown sugar. Yeah. Cause I just knew it was already gonna be hot, so I'd rather have a. We cut back on the cayenne pepper and red pepper flakes. And this John is still hot. I'm gonna do a little combination. I got scallop with tater. Mm. I don't need no fork. Mm. Woo! <clears throat> this is my favorite part. That's where all the meat at. I mean, we should have crab crackers. Ow! No. I just say it took a long time for this food to get done. It took a lot of stuff individually. I don't know. I don't think it took too long. Come here, dude. Probably because we didn't eat anything long. Cut that out. No, I'm keeping it in. Crab crackers. I got all the crab. I got all the crab crackers I need right here. You're gonna break your teeth. Okay. Winning winner, chicken dinner. So, I got a question for you. What's your favorite out the out the pot right now? Crab legs. Crab legs. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna go. It's a tie between the taters and corn. But if I really had to choose, like right now, I'm gonna go corn. Corn is real good. It complements the sauce right now. <clears throat> yeah, because it's sweet. And that sauce is hot. Real hot. Spicy. Oh, I get busy. Oh, I see you. Well, with that all being said, this is amazing. We recommend it. It's good. We gonna uh, let her take it away. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe <laughs> to my YouTube channel. And if you guys don't know, this is my boyfriend, Darren. D. Darren. And we'll be back with another video for you guys pretty soon. See you later. Bye-bye.